we have designed this workflow on the requested item table so if you want to get the requested item values if you want to get the requested item values in the workflow okay so you will use current dot current dot the field name so if you want to get the requested item short description you will use current dot short underscore description similarly if you want to get the catalog item variable values <clears throat> catalog item variable values then what you will do you will use current dot variables dot requested for so if i want to get the address address value catalog catalog variable value so then i will use current dot variables dot address okay so if i have to get the ram variable value then i will use current dot variables dot ram okay so likewise you will be accessing catalog item variable values in the workflow okay if you want to directly access the catalog if you, if you want to directly access the requested item value you can directly use current dot fill name if you want to access catalog item variable values then you will use current dot variables dot variable name so here what i have done here i have actually got the requested I've got the requested for value requested current dot variables dot variables dot requested for so requested for is a reference field right so I just dot walk that reference field so current dot variables dot requested for dot manager okay so that this is how I access the requested for variable uh, value in the workflow then then what I have done here is that I have sent an approval to the uh, respective um, manager once manager approved then it will go to the <clears throat> uh, approval group so respective group members have to approve this one so once they approved it the approval state will be set as approved here then after setting the state as approved it will wait for one minute then it will create the task it will wait for the task completion once the task is completed notification will be sent and it will set the requested item state value as closed complete okay fine guys here you have task right let me just uh, check it out so we can modify the workflow when it is check it when it is in checkout state so now here you are actually creating catalog task after the approval so i'm going to remove this timer activity guys do you all know right what is the purpose of this timer activity tell me what is the purpose of this timer activity here Yeah, it yeah. will wait until approval comes from manager. Approval action. Is it? No. Uh, it will execute uh, whichever we have given this uh, instant form. It executes within the, that particular time. Mm -hmm. It will wait for a certain period of time. I clearly mentioned here as one minute time. So it will wait for one minute time. And the catalog item will be created. No. After the approval, it will wait for one minute of time. So it will wait for the duration. So if you want to wait for one day time, then you can specify duration as one day here. Okay. So timer activity is used for uh, uh, waiting certain period of time. Okay. I'm going to remove this timer activity here. I don't want to wait for certain time. I just, I just directly want to create the catalog task. Okay. So <clears throat> guys, if this, uh, uh, task is created uh, after for, after this task is completed i want to create another task okay i am going to copy this activity here so just copy activity okay once this task is completed once this task is completed it, I, I will create another task okay so once uh, the second task is completed i will create third task okay i'll create third task so once this task is completed 
Okay, I'll I'll actually send the notification and then I'll state the request item state as closed complete. So that means here these are sequential tasks. So once a task is completed, it will create another task. Once that task is completed, it will create the tar, tar task. Once that task is completed, it will actually close the requested item. See here, I'm actually creating sequential tasks. I'm going to uh, publish this one so that we can test it clearly. So to navigate to the catalog items, how do I navigate to the catalog items, guys? Tell me. Maintain items. Maintain items. items. Yes, we have to navigate to maintain items. So here, this is the catalog item that we created. Okay. In this catalog item, we attach the workflow, right? Let me just uh, duplicate this one and try it here. So requester has managed or not? First we'll check that. Requester has no manager. Let me just take Santosh as he has the manager. I'm going to order this now. Then it has created the requested item. And this requested item. Okay. See. If, if I just click on show flow, now you will be able to see it is waiting for manager approval. Okay. So here in the workflow, we have actually uh, kept a lot of static members. So that is why it has sent approval to these many members. So let me just uh, uh, approve this one. So once it is approved, once it is approved, it has sent approval to group approval. So group approval has pro has been provided here so once the group approval is provided see here it will create the task okay now the task is created one task is created if you observe here so once i close this task once i close this task so once i close this task it will create the second task so it is creating the sequential tasks or not? Okay. So once I close this task, it has created second task. Now you will be able to see ta task could have been created. Okay. Once I complete this task, so it will create the it will actually complete the requested item. Okay, now you guys can see the workflow would have been completed. See, so we have created sequential tasks. So now I want to create parallel tasks. Parallel tasks in the sense, I want to create three tasks at a time. I want to create three tasks at a time. So guys, to create three tasks at a time, we have to use two activities called join activity and we have to use branch activity and join activity so now we are i am going to add those activities here uh, uh, in the workflow see we have created sequential activity sequential uh, tasks now i want to create parallel tasks parallel tasks in the sense i want to create all the tasks at a time so then instead of uh, 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 let me just remove this let me just go to checkout state Okay. So now what I'm doing is,
I am going to use branch activity. So from the core, I can get a branch activity. Then you can get it here. Okay. So from the branch activity, you will create three tasks at a time. One, two, three. So here we have to wait for the three tasks, three, three tasks closure, right? So we have to wait for the three tasks closure, right? Then what am I doing is I'm going to create another task here. That is actually join. Join activity will wait for all the tasks get closed. Join activity will wait for all the tasks get closed. Okay. So once all the tasks are closed, then you will actually send the notification. You will complete the requested item. So now we will just uh, uh, test that part, then we will actually move ahead. Well, I think we have selected uh, the person who doesn't have manager. Now, now you will be able to see Upload. Approve. Okay. So now you see at a time three tasks are created. At a time three tasks are created. You can also check the workflow. Now here, the join activity is waiting for the, all the task closures. Okay, I'm going to uh, uh, open all these tasks. Second task closed. Third task closed. So now what will happen is that the request item is closed automatically. Okay. See here, this join activity has waited for the three task closure and then it has completed the workflow. Okay. It has completed the workflow. 